In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to put a VPN on your Fire TV stick. Whether you have a Fire TV, Cube, Fire Stick, it's all the same process, and it's really simple to do. And I know a lot of people are running their Fire Sticks 24 seven. It's super important, guys, that when you are running your Fire Stick, because it's an open connection, that you protect yourself from hackers, especially with all those apps out there. Those third-party apps you add to your Fire Stick, could be a problem, guys. Make sure you have a VPN, protect yourself. Virtual private network, I have other videos on what it is, what it's all about, how it works, all that stuff. But in today's video, let's get one on your Fire Stick. So let's do that first. First thing you need is a VPN. If you already have a VPN, you can skip this first part and go right to how to put it on your actual Fire Stick. But if you don't have one, you need to get one first. So that's the first step, get a VPN. The one I use is ExpressVPN. There's a lot of good ones out there, but that's the one that I prefer due to speed and compatibility with certain apps that I use. So how do you get it? Well, you can either scan that QR code in the corner of this video right here, or you can go to this web address right down here. It is expressvpn.com slash Curiosity Cafe. And the reason you want to use that link is because you're going to get three free months. So let's take a look at the website right now. All right. So when you type in expressvpn.com slash Curiosity Cafe, this is what you're going to see right here. This is how you get three extra months free with a 12 month plan. Again, that's just for Curiosity Cafe viewers. Go ahead and click get the number one trusted VPN. And here are your options. You can do one month, $12.95 a month, or you can do the three month plan right there, which is a special right now, or six months. You get a 30 day money back guarantee, so give it a shot. If you don't like it, you can cancel, get all of your money back. And once you register, they're gonna send you an email to confirm your email address and then give you a temporary password. You'll set your own password how you want. Now, once you have that password, now you are good to go to get the app on your Fire Stick and sign in and protect yourself. So let's do that really quick. I have a brand new Fire Stick. I've never put a VPN on it because it is literally brand new. It's the new 4K Max, um, the second generation. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on the TV right now. And you'll just type in ExpressVPN or you can just speak into your remote ExpressVPN and it will pull up. So the, one of the reasons I really like ExpressVPN is it works with your Fire TV stick, but also other devices in conjunction. So I could have it on my phone, my laptop, my computer, my tablet, um, all at the same time while I have it on all of my TVs with one login. You don't have to have separate accounts, multiple accounts like some VPNs. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, click on it. So this is it right here. It's built into the Amazon App Store, which makes it really nice. There are some other VPNs that are also built in here to make it easy, like CyberGhost. You've got Surfshark and IPVanish. If you do want to get any other VPN besides the one that I use, um, they also give me discount codes for all of these. So reach out to me if there's a specific one you want, or if you want to renew a VPN, I can get you a really good deal on any of them. And I'll show you how to do that. Renewals, you should also get better deals. A lot of people don't, they just renew, renew it. But in reality, you should get a better deal as a renewal. So I can help you do that with any VPN. But with ExpressVPN, again, is the one I use because it does work with Hulu, it works with Netflix, uh, two apps that I do use and then also works with all of my devices. There's no compatibility issues. So go ahead and click on it and you will go ahead and download it right to this. As you can see, I own it, but I don't have it on here. So we'll go ahead and do it. And as you can see, it's downloading. It doesn't take too long to download. Once you download it, guys, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is log in and turn it on. You can select your locations. You can change locations anywhere in the world. One advantage of changing locations is getting more content. Like on Netflix, you can actually get anime from Japan or you can get all kinds of action movies from, I don't know, the UK uh, or Australia. You can change locations and get different content that is offered in those countries, which is pretty neat. So the installation looks like it is just about to be complete. All right, so we'll go ahead and open it up. And since this is the first time that we are logging in on this device, you will have to sign in. I'm not going to show you my sign in, but I will go ahead and sign in and you can do it at the same time while I do it. All right, now once you've logged in here, it will ask for your connection request. You are of course going to say, okay, um, I don't want to help improve. I don't need to do a survey or anything like that, but this is what it looks like, guys. Really simple. So if you want to change locations, you can click a smart location here and select it. Or if you look to the right, there's a little arrow. So let's say, for example, I'm in Germany. If you click Germany, it will automatically go to the recommended location. But if you go to the right and hit that little arrow, you're going to get additional locations. And I find that the additional locations tend to be faster than the recommended ones. So no matter which country you decide to go to, uh, 
it's always recommended that you go and do the alternate location. You're just gonna get a faster speed. So as you can see here, it is connecting right now. Just takes a few seconds to connect. And as it is connecting, because this is the first time I've connected on this, it's going to ask about a few things that they have. Now this is something that is brand new that only ExpressVPN offers over all VPNs, and that is the ability to block those pop-ups, those ads, the, the traffic that comes in that just goes crazy. And it really is convenient if you're using websites to do things like watch streaming sports uh, or movies online. A lot of times those ads will pop up, like on Cinema HD. Well, this will block those. So we can go ahead and just select, yes, we want to block malicious sites, ads, adult sites, all of that. Now those are those pop-ups pop -ups all over your screen that are extremely annoying. You don't have to deal with that anymore because you have ExpressVPN. So we'll go ahead and hit continue and then it will go ahead and do the connection. So I am now connected, I am protected, I have a VPN on this Fire Stick. So when I go back to the home screen, I am protected. So it's going to block all those ads, all those pop-ups, anybody trying to hack into my system, all of that. And I have the added benefit of being able to switch countries to get additional content. It actually thinks right now, if a hacker were to try to get into me, then I am in Germany. I'm not even in the United States. It's a pretty cool feature, guys, and I always have a VPN running on all my devices. I have it on my phone. I do banking on my phone, so I certainly wouldn't want to be hacked on that. Um, I have it on my tablets, my computers, all of that. And of course, my streaming devices like the Fire TV Stick. So that's how you get it on the Fire Stick. Get a VPN, get your login, go ahead and download the app, sign into it, select your location, be protected. Any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thanks again for watching.